Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to run a startup script using systemd. Since most major distros are now running systemd as their init system, perhaps it makes sense to learn how it works. Nevertheless, reading its full documentation might feel a little bit daunting. So, if everything you need is to run a simple startup script when you boot into Linux, there's no need to become an expert in systemd. Instead, I'll guide you through a quick three-step process. The first step is to actually create your startup script. You can place it anywhere but a nice standard directory for user scripts is user local sbin and I'll call my script my dash startup as you can see here in my case I'm simply running HD Palm to spin down my hard drive because I only use it to backup data so it's nice to save power and keep it quiet now don't forget to make it executable with change mod sudo first change mod plus x and the path for your script user local sbin my startup dot sh now step number two is to create a quite simple systemd unit file um, systemd unit files are stored under etc systemd system there are several types of unit files but perhaps the simplest one is a service unit. So that's what we'll be creating here. My service file is called my startup.service. Now, as you can see here, there are only three simple sections unit, service, and install. The first section, unit, has a single directive called description and this is simply a description about your unit file, in this case my startup. Then, and since this is a service unit, there must be a service category here. Also with a single directive, exec start. This basically tells that when your unit runs, it executes whatever you put here. In this case, this is the path to the script we've just created before user local has been my startup and finally there's this section called install with this directive called wanted by now what this means is that our unit is wanted by multi user target now systemd targets are similar similar to um, run levels in classic system 5 in it so this target here multi user is reached when your system finishes booting and just before it starts the graphical user interface so it's a nice, nice target 
to to use here and this actually means that multi-user target depends on our unit so when this target is reached it needs to execute our unit and therefore execute our startup script and finally in step number three we must make sure that our service is enabled for that we use system ctl status and the name of our service unit it says here that it's disabled it's loaded by systemd but it is currently disabled so we must enable it sudo systemctl enable and the name of our service unit and that's it systemd has just enabled our unit so the first time or rather the next time I boot my my system it will run the my startup service which in turn will run the script that we've just created before so that's it guys use Linux long and prosper